The center's popular butterfly encounter runs through August 11th, giving visitors the chance to get up close and really personal with the fascinating winged insects. And good day, Paul Milliken is live in Roswell this morning. Paul has been a, a fan favorite for more than a decade, and you tend to be that Indeed. little devil on my shoulder, it seems. Caitlin's the angel on the other <laughs> side. You know it, absolutely. Ah. No, I'm the gorgeous butterfly on your shoulder, and you know it, okay? Just like the ones on my shoulders this morning, the one on Natasha's shoulder over there. They are loving the nectar sticks. This is amazing. Look, we have covered the butterfly encounter many times on Good Day Atlanta, but every time is really like the first time because it is such a magical experience to hold a nectar stick like this. How many are on there? One, two, three, four, five are on there right now. You've got three on yours, and there are hundreds of butterflies in this tent that are waiting for you. They're also fluttering all around the camera right now. Tim can't see it, but there's a couple over by his hand. Natasha Rice standing by. It's great to see you. How are you? It's wonderful to have you guys here again. You know here. we love it. We would never pass up a summer to come hang out at the beautiful Chattahoochee Nature Center. And this is really a fan favorite, a tradition. I said before, you could never not do the butterfly encounter. People would go nuts if they weren't here, right? It's been 25 years yeah. that we've had the Butterfly Festival. This is the 10th year of the encounter, so we'll be going through August 11th. Yeah. There's no excuse not to visit no. if you haven't been no. on. It's open daily. You have plenty of time to come experience it. And explain how it works. I mean, basically, you come into the tent, you get a nectar stick, and then you just enjoy the scenery. Right? Yeah, I mean, we have multiple generations of people coming yeah. for long stays. I mean, there are people who are doing, you know, photography. Uh -huh. They're they're sketching the butterflies and then, you know, tons and tons of pictures. Yeah. The kids are just covered in them and love them. Yeah, I was telling Caitlin, our anchor back there before, who's got a young son, when the kids come in here and see the butterflies, they go crazy. Well, and there's no doubt the little children are just covered in sweetness. <laughs> and so the butterflies love them as it's you get true. older and you just have you know your natural essence uh -huh. the butterflies love that too yeah so. they they really seem to love having people in here and they are very awake and actually it's going to be very hot this week and that's good for the butterflies they like the heat don't they yeah no the butterflies absolutely gravitate towards more heat more sun but we are open at nine o'clock yeah. and so it's great if you want right. to come and not be hot right, um, right. this is a wonderful place to tuck yourself away for a little while yeah. in the morning yeah right now it's actually really comfortable in here so come early get get all the pictures that you want. And what's neat is that, of course, this, along with just being a magical experience, it's very educational as well. The idea is to let people know about butterflies and the kinds that they can find right in their own backyard. Exactly. All of these butterflies that we have in the enclosure are native to Georgia and this area, and it's just so important to understand the pollinators' role in the health of our um, ecosystem. Right, right. They're obviously out there, and, and, you know, they're on the plants moving yeah. things, pollinating, and, you know, they are absolutely thrilled to be part of your backyard magic. Yeah, yeah, and what's great too is that when you're here and you're learning about the butterflies, you can buy different plants that you can take home, plant in your own backyard, and attract butterflies that way. That's right. We sell plenty of milkweed, which is the host to the monarch butterfly. As you can see, David is also the host to the monarch butterfly. Uh -huh, but yeah. th these are things that we really um, want to make sure that, once again, you incorporate in your landscape. It makes yeah. all the difference in the world. Yeah, it does. It is amazing to be here. You must love summertime here at Chattahoochee Nature Center. This is your time. This honestly kicks off our summer. This and our summer camp, Camp Kingfisher, um, really makes it seem like a, a different season for us. Yeah. It's not just the heat, it's all the fun on campus. Yeah. Well, the fun has only just begun, so a lot of kids are going to be entering the Chattahoochee Nature Center very soon. So in the 9 o'clock hour, I have a feeling it'll be a little more here as we get some kids visiting and then coming up later this morning in the 10 o'clock hour super excited about this we're going to talk about the nature exchange here if you don't know what that is it's an incredible program for adults and for kids and so we'll tell you about that coming up in the 10 o'clock hour and i wish you all could see right now what i'm seeing i'll try to take a picture and post it tim so i'm looking right at the camera <laughs> tim tim has the biggest butterfly on the oh. side of his atlanta braves hat it looks like a fascinator like he's going to the royal <laughs> wedding right now with a big monarch wing Magical. sticking off the side of his Braves hat. It's very classy. Very classy. I wonder if he cheated and dipped his hat in some nectar. <laughs> he did. He absolutely did. Well, they look, when we walked in, this is the truth. When we walked in here, all of the butterflies swarmed Tim. And I think it's because Tim doesn't shower very often oh, and they just Paul. liked that. That's the only way that I can <laughs> possibly explain it. Tim, you don't have to take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you